Yo guys, what's up? <laughs> I'm in the kitchen today and I want to do something different. I hope the sound is alright. It might be a bit whoa, echoey, but I, who cares? Well, still good enough. So guys, today I want to do some Lego. Lego, yeah. You know, when I was a kid, I was a super crazy Lego fan. I had like a ton of Lego and <clears throat> I don't know, a half a year ago or something even, I came and buy this thing and saw it in a shop and I was thinking, man, would be cool to finally do some more Lego. Let me quickly get the camera off the thing here and look at it. So, um, it is a Lego Technic excavator pretty cool and you have a huge bucket here and all two models in one obviously as usual um, okay this that oh okay then and the thing can also be powered and um, if you have some power functions to with it you know the power functions stuff of Lego 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 <laughs> How do you call it in the United States? Lego or Lego? I mean, Lego is the correct term. So I wonder how it is pronounced internationally. Okay, so freaking cool excavator. And let's see. Here is all the parts. Quite a lot. But not that much. You know, back then when I was playing Lego a lot when I was a kid, um, there was not so many sophisticated parts like for example what you see in here this and Some of the parts in there were not available everything had to be uh, was pretty much hand constructed All right, so This is that uh, it has obviously some Lego technique Let's unpack the Lego Lego club free free thing whatever this and there's some stickers with it Let me see for the excavator mm Hmm all right, so I guess here is the construction plans for it. First, there's you toss everything out to look at everything, sort everything, be super happy, start building. Yeah, well, that's not how I do it. All right, and there's some slight tips. Don't put the, yeah, those rings in too tight. What is that? 15, 1, all right. So, oh yeah. We do start here, we actually do start, so that's pretty cool and yeah, I will pretty much do what this guy does here, I will unpack some of the Lego parts and spread them out a bit and yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll all work out. <laughs> I haven't made a, Le a Lego model in literally 30 years, no, but 25 years or something. Alright, so uh, I'll try to get the camera mounted here. And I start building a bit and I'll see how I do it. Maybe there will be some time lapses and whatnot. But I definitely want to talk um, while we build about all kinds of things. And yeah, hopefully that will work out. And yeah, I'll get started here and I'll see you in a bit. Right, so let's get going here, guys. Um, what is pretty cool, I didn't know that a Lego had that now. You can pretty much put your parts on here, you know, and then you see what you need. And first of all, we need some of these and let's put it together. This is gonna be <coughs> the lower part, the chains and all. Okay, to here. Man, this is cool. This is cool. This is some good memories. It's like I totally get into it right away. And yeah, when I was a kid, I was playing a lot of Lego. So here's our first part. Um, like it shows us in the plan, let's keep on rolling here. And now we need to put these parts on and they go on just like so. Yeah, I think that is the chains and stuff below. So yeah, when I was a kid I was playing Lego like crazy. Like I literally had a crap ton of it. All kinds of stuff, Lego technique and normal things. And I really, really, really enjoyed playing Lego. Like literally it was the only thing I played. And I also got uh, some Masters of the Universe. That was also something I've been playing. So cool, we have our first little thingy here. All right, we're putting together the chassis there. I think that is for the wheel hall, like for the chains and stuff. We'll see, let's put that in here. 
The last piece goes there. Alright. Cool. We're getting places. So this is what we got now. Kind of a base plate. Some moving parts in there. Something will have to go on there. Maybe it's also the turning plate. Well, we figure it out. Um, one bigger piece together. Awesome. Let's keep on doing it. Coolio. Bam. Just made the tracks. 34 pieces each and that basically now has to be attached here with the wheels and there's some, some the small wheels up there are kind of guide wheels. Pretty cool and let's see if that fits on there. Yeah, perfect. Let's get the other side too. Oh man, I like it. It's, man, it's so cool to play Lego again. Seriously, I need to do that more often. Burm. Cool guys, check it out. The tracks are pretty much done. Also looks pretty cool if you look in here from the side. Nice. Okay, so that's the tracks. Now there is the next part here um, that looks like the engine um, that sits on top of it. It's a rather complex part. And I'll start with it here. There's several several um, steps to it, like a whole lot and a lot of gears and things, this is gonna be interesting and we need to make sure we stick it together correctly but that seems to be the most complex part yeah, kind of up to here and then you're done with it alright, so I'll get started on that we have the wheels ready, the chains here pretty cool <laughs> and yeah, see you in a bit Alright, I continued here a little bit and yeah, we have the first gears, spinning gears in there. That worked. Seems to be a rather complex part and it's still very fascinating for me because there's so many parts I've never seen before. Like new elements like this thing or some of the wheels here. Like when I was still playing reg Lego regularly, everything was a bit more simple. Um, or let's say less parts and you had to be a bit more creative to stick it all together and make something cool. Well, this is getting more and more complex if you want to look at the part. I mean, and there's so many cool new parts, I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I think I want to do more Lego in the future, man. Depends a bit how you love it. Um, if you show some love on it, I, I'll do more. and. Um, we can figure out a good format to do it. This is all trial and error yet. So yeah, all right, this is done. Now I need to make a huge part that also goes on here in the end. And yeah, let's do this. All right, cool. We need to attach the first stickers. Here in the plan says, pay, take thing eight, that is that. And it has to go on here just like oh, oh, oh. and you got it on there crooked already. Okay, could smooth it out. All right, so here first stickers go on. Cool. It kind of looks like the rear there, doesn't it? Like a light, whoop here, a light and blinker and stuff. Yeah. We'll see. Alright guys, check this out. Assembled quite a big part here. It's kind of the middle portion, got a lot of stickers on here. And here you can see the switches. And now I realized what that is. Basically um, you can switch modes. Um, what you want to do with your excavator. I mean, you know, tilt the arm in different ways. And here that is for the bucket pretty much. And yeah, it seems to be we have a major part done now. Um, main body of the excavator and now um, hydro hydraulics, hydro hydraulics time. So here we got some hyd hydraulic cylinders. They also look look different, like the ones um, I know, you know, from back in the days. But yeah, cool hydraulic cylinders. Alright, and ah, 
if you we need one of these right and we can spin it back here and then extend oh yeah right yeah you can partially pull it out like that ah okay getting it here we go so one of the cylinders and we need to assemble that now and attach to our main machine here so let's see how that turns out okay guys look at that pretty cool here's one of the pneumatic parts it's not really pneumatic but and it's like with works with a gear attached to it and below here we have the rotator plate and now we are pretty much doing the marriage we are merging the chassis with the kind of motor that's <laughs> what you call marriage in if you're in construction and probably it goes on like that you see it? yeah we're in the camera just like that and then there is some bolts that needs to be tucked in let me flip the whole thing around and look from it from below yeah okay that should help us to align it properly and then we need to pull these in those pins boom boom and boom boom and that attaches our upper part of the excavator or the crane with the with the wheels pretty cool I think I got it right and yeah we can continue building awesome cool I finished the arm or yeah main parts of the arm need to continue here a little bit but pretty cool eh check it out here we got all kinds of rotating parts again nice mechanics here I'm liking it and yeah I'm thinking I can soon start to assemble I wonder how these things go together I think they're st still missing something but yeah <laughs> awesome oh look at that guys the arm is attached to the excavator looking good man the model is getting quite big here you can see my hand as a you know so it's pretty for the reference it's pretty pretty big cool oh man all right we're getting somewhere oh yeah look at that guys looking sweet <laughs> got it yeah well i guess i guess kind of halfway assembled or so um we had to skip to the next like um uh, yeah build book or whatever you want to call it um it's number two now and we're pretty much continuing here and uh, we got still a lot of steps to do i think here is the bucket oh yeah the control house is attached to the side here and then the bucket and then we're done all right I guess we can finish that. No problem. I was thinking I might do a, a several parts, but come on, let's pull through and finish the excavator so we can play around with it and check it out. Cool guys, check it. I finished kind of the driver's cabin. It's really cool. They have some, some tubes with it here. That's also really new. I've never never had that in any oligotechnic here you see these tubings to kind of make some more organic shapes and now that thing needs to be attached to the main main machine and uh, let me check well let's see if I can pop it on there and then we should be cool one second so that goes on here to the side now mm -hmm. sounds good boom and down here there is one attachment point let me get that boom all right check it guys whoop gonna flip it around I hope you see properly but now we have the cabin um, attached to the whole thing pretty cool cabin attached sweet 
Yeah, check it out guys, the bucket is done and it can actually open and close with the gear here, closing, cool, the claw, it's like a claw or you could call it a bucket of an excavator. We need to attach some more stickers to it, pretty much all around like this. There we go, and then we put some stickers on like that. I'll do that right away in a second. And I'm thinking, yeah, we are about to finalize the design. And we need one of these and one of these. Put it here and then we can all yeah, stick it together and pretty much assemble the whole dealio. So we go in here. Boom, yeah, the gear is running and pretty much that goes on like this. Yeah, make sure we have it attached. Can't see at the moment, but I'm trying to attach that bucket to the machine. And here we go. And that pretty much concludes it, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I need to uh, figure out how to operate this thing. Okay, bucket. I'm spinning. Yeah, bucket is opening. Okay, that works. And let's see. Yeah, up and down, that works too. And the front joint works too. I think we made no mistake, yes. Let me quickly attach um, the um, stickers and then we check it out. Okay, finished. Ah oh man, this is cool. I want to build more Lego in the future. Freaking awesome. Lego is just cool, man. That's how my love for building stuff kind of started. You know, Minecraft, Lego goes hand in hand. Creative thinking. Of course, you didn't have all these fancy parts back then, but yeah, still really cool. And yeah, I can show you here. Here it has the different functionalities. Um, pretty much here, this is work the bucket, open and close the bucket. And here pretty much we have the different joints. The first joint here, or better say there, and down in here to kind of raise and lower everything so say I switched it right now and then see how the front comes in a bit cool so yeah that thing is fully functional we can spin can drive and we can um, attach some electronics to it I might do that um, yeah guys so <laughs> Hope you enjoyed um, a little bit of Lego building here in my kitchen. Something else today. Also want to do a cooking with dog uh, soon, by the way. And yeah, show some love for some Lego love. I'm out, my friends. Bye. Woo.